Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today's project is a Jägermeister Porsche. Check it out. I recently received this in a box of cars and I was so pumped when I saw it until I realized what I was holding. I'm not sure what's covering this thing, but I want to get this stripped and cleaned as soon as possible. I feel like it's some kind of biohazard. Today we're going to do a nice restoration on this car. I redid all the tampos with uh, decals. There should be lettering on these fenders. Should be lettering on each side of the hood and a little bit of lettering on the back. It's supposed to say turbo. So we got a little bit of work to do, so why don't we just get started? I got some new wheels for it as well. We're just gonna do some basic matchbox wheels, the chromey ones, just to freshen this thing up. Why don't we get started on it? I kinda wanna get this thing cleaned up ASAP, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill it because I'm tired of touching this thing. It's nasty. Ew. Since there's hardly any paint left on this thing, I'm just gonna drop her right in the jar this time and we'll forget the uh, we'll forget the stripping montage because there isn't gonna be much sizzle coming out of this one. We're gonna have to redo the chrome on our base here anyways. You can see it's worn right off in the middle and on the side, so we'll get all this stuff soaking. And we're just gonna wash away any sins that this Porsche may have committed. I feel a little bit better now touching this thing. It's pretty easy for me to make the graphics for this one. I already had them saved from when we did that Jägermeister Datsun 510. So I was able to just measure and print new copies of those decals and then I just had to make my stenciling. And then as you guys know, all these circles for the logos and stuff we're gonna have to do in white first. So our plan today is once I get this thing straightened up a little bit, we're gonna go paint orange. We're gonna do all of our decal placements in white first and then I'll clear coat and then we'll come back and do the decals, do some detailing. But overall it should look real nice if we can get the decals laid down perfectly. I think I'd like to get our wheels sorted out before we go paint, but this is pretty much ready. It just needs to be cleaned up one more time. So check in on this stuff. Hopefully I can just give this a little scrub. And the rest of that chrome's just flaking away. Our super clean has turned into a nice golden honey lager. I think I might save these. Even though they've possibly gone through a digestive system, they're still in good shape. So if we ever want to do a true restoration on a Yap Ming, maybe we'll save them. If we can make these matchbox wheels fit, I think it would be real sweet. There's a possibility they might be too big, but we'll uh, let's try them out. I don't know man, that looks pretty good to me. Hell yeah, that's gonna look like a million bucks. It's a nice affordable upgrade, especially for a Yatming. This is a huge win for any little Yatming casting, so... That's gonna look great. I'm confident we're gonna make those fit no problem. So I guess we can mix up some paint. Got a little cup. I believe last time I just took our orange and I just kind of enriched it a little bit with this red. So just take a little bit of this. Uh, it's looking better already. We'll use a little bit of white sealer to prime this and we'll switch to this and do a nice orange paint job. Okay, so let's go.
As always, I cut these out on my vinyl cutter and I use a Cameo 4. I'm a little bit worried about my spacing here. The result would be cleaner if I sprayed them separately instead of having these overlaps. Starting to add our lettering. We got little Yaggies on the fenders. Try to get those looking fairly straight. When I spray these whites, I spray just enough to kind of cover that orange, no more. I don't want a big lip around the edge. So I actually gave these a little scuff with the scotch bright. So right now they're pretty flush. Once we get all the white done, we're going to clear coat everything and then we'll do our decals. So that's the rest of the white we're going to do so I can go ahead and do all the masking and then I'll meet you in the spray booth and we'll spray all these letters down and then I'm going to give it a clear coat before I come back. Okay, easy. So I baked our clear coat for about an hour and 20 minutes and I wet sanded all the areas where I plan on doing decals. So there's no little bumpies anywhere. Took a second to get that thing lined up properly. Been very impressed with the accuracy of that vinyl cutter. It's been surprisingly good, as you can see. Not a lot of room for air. We got a very small black border that's gonna hide any imperfections, but I mean, that's pretty good. Considering the scale we're working on, I'm quite all right with that. Perfect. That's our last decal right here. Make sure we get that straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Somewhere in there. I like where this is going. I'm just gonna go throw us in the paint oven for a little bit to try to evaporate some of these decals a bit, let them dry out before I do a final clear coat. But before that, I'm just gonna chrome the door handles and do the headlights.
sanded our windshield to 2000. Let's see if I can pick a spot. I guess this is a convenient spot for me to hold on to is right here. I noticed that our casting has one little side window behind the driver, but there isn't a side window on the passenger side. Is that just for shoulder checking or what? I'm curious. I don't know if old 911s only had the one window. Wick off the extra. Boy, that's cleaning up real nice. That's gonna be some good looking glass. I'm gonna go move this over to the paint oven, give it a chance to dry. Once that's done, I think we're gonna finally get to do a reveal on this Porsche. It's been a long time coming. We got many hours into this thing and it's kind of a junky casting to begin with. So I'm looking forward to getting this one done. So give me a few minutes and we'll do a reveal. High five. On this one, I think it's important that we go back and remember the state that this poor little car was in when I got my hands on it. Now she's looking fantastic. About as good as it's gonna get for this poor little casting. The decals and everything turned out pretty good the second time around. I think she's a good looking rig. She turned out pretty nice. Um, digging the wheels, these Matchbox wheels, I mean, they look good on anything. You put them on a five liter Mustang, you put them on a Porsche, you put them on a mini truck, they're gonna look good on everything. And I love that they have all types of different colors. Probably my favorite wheels, they're super versatile. So I'm really feeling them. I think they look good on this Porsche. Make sure you leave your guys' comments down below. Leave a like to support the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye now.